Okay, we're going to move on to the shoulder flexion. So now we're getting away from the scapula and we're going to be focusing on just the glenohumeral joint. So for this, we are going to be standing at the side of the patient. I'm going to try and not be in the uh, camera's obstruction, so I may not exactly be in the correct position, but um, be to the side of the patient. And you want them to flex the shoulder to about 90 degrees without any rotation. Their palm will be down. Um, and your instructions to the patient will be raise your arm forward to the shoulder height, hold it, and don't let me push it down. So I always like to show them, hold it to here. Okay, go ahead and do that for me. So automatically we know that the patient has a grade three. Now I'm going to apply my resistance um, always at that distal humerus, okay? So hold that, don't let me move you. So the patient is able to hold that end position of nine, at 90 degrees against maximum resistance. It's gonna be a grade five. A grade four is they're gonna hold that end position against strong to moderate resistance, or the patient may yield a little bit. Okay, I would give that a grade four. We already saw a grade three for them to do this. A grade two is going to be partial range of motion, so you have them in the short sitting position, and they are unable to get to that full 90 degrees. So go ahead and partially, yeah, right there. So they're unable to do that, and their arm may just like, just like suddenly drop if they can't do that. Now for also a grade two, um, the patient, uh, if they are unable to be in a sitting position, uh, you can go to the gravity reduced position. So put them in sideline with a test arm up. Um, you need to support that arm and you're going to ask them to try to complete that full range of motion in that gravity reduced position. So go ahead and try and bring that through. And they have to complete full range of motion in order for that to be a grade two. We're going to go ahead and stay in this position uh, for palpation. You of course can complete this as well uh, with them in that short sitting position, but we're just going to keep her here for now. So for a grade two is what you're, you're gonna do, excuse me, a grade one is a palpable trace. So you're gonna apply um, no resistance and you're gonna ask them, try to lift your shoulder up like so, and you're gonna be feeling for a um, contractile activity at that anterior deltoid right there. And of course that would be a grade one. And then grade zero would be no contractile activity.